You know guys, for a little while I've been telling you about how to get a discount when you buy vi nice vintage pens uh, or anything from the Antique Digger website, AntiqueDigger.com. And I want you to know, I take my own advice. I use discount codes at that exact same website. And I buy a lot from Antique Digger, which is one of the reasons I'm able to offer you guys a nice discount code there. Use discount code TROY, T-R-O-Y, when you go to their website at checkout. And uh, I used a discount code, and I was able to get some money off from my latest purchase from Antique Digger. This is a beautiful Waterman 50 probably from about the 1930s and it's got a nice gold overlay all over the pen with the exception you know of the butt end here where it does have a nice number of Waterman 54 imprint so uh, I do believe this is called the Sheraton pattern and it is uh, a 54 something I already had in my collection I'm gonna show you this one right here this is one I've had for a while I cleaned it up it's been in my drawer for a while in my collection for a couple of years now uh, and it's got that uh, overlay only here in the center yeah it's got the old Waterman clip probably from the 20s or 30s but this has also got a nice little 54 on the bottom it was sold to me as a Waterman 54 and I got it and I went to go use it and um, you know, I put a new sack in it, cleaned it up, uh, but when I was tearing it apart, it had a Waterman number 2 nib. Well, a Waterman 54 <laughs> is supposed to mean the 4 part is supposed to stand for a number 4 nib. So obviously, uh, either uh, this was a factory mistake, which I doubt, or somebody at some time had put in a number 2 nib instead of a number 4 nib, uh, thereby making it effectively a Waterman 52. <laughs> so I had this and I'd been searching for a number four nib to put in this thing to get the right kind of nib um, and uh, I tried uh, but there was one seller who was a little disagreeable maybe uh, uh, if I was a little more liberal on uh, my terms I would have been able to uh, get it but I waited and I just never did anything with it until finally um, at Antique Digger he had a bunch of old Watermans I mean some fantastically beautiful and uh, uh, silver overlays, gold overlays, different patterns. Apparently he must have bought it in someone's entire collection uh, and uh, was offering these for sale. And uh, this is one of the things I've said to you guys about developing a relationship with a seller, that if you develop a good relationship, it behooves you so you just may be able to get uh, knowledge of something before it hits the market for everybody else. Uh, Greg knew that I liked Waterman's. He had sent me some pictures of the, the stash that he had. Uh, quite honestly, I spent a lot on pens already this year. Wasn't looking to really have a huge outlay, but there were a couple pens that he had for sale that I said, I like this one, I like this one, I like this one. Give me some more information. Uh, and a couple of them are like, ooh, yeah, definitely outside my budget today. Uh, this was one that I went, you know, it's, geez, do I want to spend that kind of money on a pen? Uh... Hmm. All right, here's a good chance to get a good pen at a good price. So, or I, I, I say good price. Um, I know what they're going for at pen shows because I have seen gold overlays at pen shows, and I said that's not a bad price. <laughs> so I went ahead and accepted the 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 idea and went ahead and purchased this one online. Like I said, using a discount code. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for a, a nice fountain pen. So I went ahead and got this because I did not have a number four nib here in my collection. Like I was just telling you, I had that Waterman 54 with a number two nib in it. So I was looking for a number four nib. Uh, because I wanted to complete the series of Waterman nibs. Um, I'm still looking for a number seven eventually, but anyway. So here you go. Uh, let me uh, I'll tell you what I'll do for you right here. Instead of me going into a little more detail, I'm going to play for you the video that Greg had put up on social media, specifically on Instagram, to show off this pen. Good morning, everybody. It's the Antique Digger. I wanted to update you on the Waterman 0554 uh, this royal plate. So this is a Spanish imported um, pen. Uh, so I guess there was an individual by the name of Egon Hassinger. And Hassinger acquired a license from Waterman to produce ink and the assembly of Waterman fountain pens for the European market. Uh, Hassinger was registered in Barcelona. His business was registered in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, where he lived from 1915 to 1948, and I guess in 1990 they liquidated all of his uh, assets. Or so I, I don't know if he was um, 
in business till 1990 or what, but uh, I know he lived in, in Barcelona from 1915 to 1948 based on that records. But this is that imprint with the H and the diamond. So this one will be here listed shortly. Thanks for looking. Okay, so now that you've seen that little video, twist off the top, you've got a nice beautiful overlay, like I said, that Sheraton pattern, which is essentially just stripes in a space, stripes in a space, and then you actually have a number four nib on this thing. So, um, I'm pretty happy with it so far. As a matter of fact, I don't mind telling you, um, this is one amazing nib. So I'm going to do a writing sample, but something I decided to do a little bit differently. All right, my last Rhodia dot pad uh, sheet I ran out and I've been thinking, you know, I'm going to run out of this Rhodia dot pad here soon. I use my pens every day at work in business um, and for pleasure as well. And typically I just use normal old notepads, legal pads. And this is a pad I happen to have on my desk, a project pad with normal style paper on it. So rather than do a Rhodia dot pad, I figured let's go do it on this just to see how it turns out. All right. So let's go ahead and see how she writes, shall we? A waterman. And back then, apostrophe S, 54 with a gold overlay. You know, it's just got just a little bit of feedback, if you can hear it, but it's not like a scratchy sounding feedback. It's almost a squeaky feedback, uh, feedback when you hear it, uh, but this does have a nice flex nib. So let's go ahead and give you some flex. In addition to that, this is a very smooth nib. You know, sometimes I think, and as much as I love some modern nibs, uh, especially steel nibs, and how well they have come, uh, how well they've been developed, and how far they've come. You know, I think who needs really a, a, a gold nib nowadays? Uh, but I, I tell you what, sometimes going back to these old nibs that they did in the 20s and 30s. Um, one of the things I like about this particular nib, some flex nibs are just like wet noodles and, and it's really hard to control um, and it feels spongy when you write. Not this one. This particular nib, it almost feels firm, but has great flex. And for that reason, I say that this particular nib is spectacular in its performance. You see, I can get that, but I can also get that. Some of my uh, number two Waterman nibs, um, just the least little bit of pressure, and it's spongy, and, and but I like the number four nib so far. So I put into this one some, uh, some Waterman's Intense Black. Great writing nib. I, I got to be honest with you, this number four nib, I think, is one of the better performing nibs now that are in my collection. Very happy with this particular purchase. Um, and you saw the import mark in, in uh, Greg's video, and you saw some of uh, the features of that particular pen. Very nice. I didn't have uh, any full gold overlays in my collection. Uh, now, obviously, it's not the LEC where it's overlaid over the end here, um, but uh, still, this is a, a pretty decent pen. I mean, there's no uh, there's no personalization right there where you would be able to personalize it. Um, it's just a good writing, solid pen, spectacular performance, whether you want to uh, use it as normal or whether you want to uh, flex it and enjoy some broad lines. Uh, as a matter of fact, when this pen ran out of ink on me writing a letter, I finished up with this pen uh, to somebody that uh, I, I owed a letter back to. So there you go, folks. My new Waterman 54. Waterman collection continues to grow. Uh, and I do love modern, but I also love vintage pens. And again, 
Greg actually has more Waterman pens on his site now, as well as some other brands, and even has some brand new uh, stuff from Pilot if you want a vanishing point. So go to AntiqueDigger.com, use discount code TROY when you go to checkout, get your discount so you can get your pens just a little cheaper, and let them know that I sent you.